The holy month of Ramadan begins on Monday, and in Minnesota, there's been a push to make sure those in the Muslim community who want to be vaccinated are able to be vaccinated ahead of the holiday. Sarah Danik is speaking with those in the community leading the effort around the state. She's live for us tonight to explain how it's all being organized. Sarah? Yeah, Karen, Muslim community leaders have been working with the state for about a month and a half to hold these vaccination clinics around Minnesota. So far, they've gotten about 7,000 vaccine doses, and they're working to get 3,000 more. Preparations for Ramadan are underway. What most people may not realize is that the Tarawih prayers, the mosques, are more full than even the Friday prayers. So it is usually very crowded, very jam-packed. Last year, the holy month looked very different. Prayer, fasting, and the iftar meal were done outside the mosque, away from others. They are chomping at the bit to get back into the mosques. And, you know, it, it can easily be predicted that if these people are not vaccinated, we would have problems. Imam Assad Zaman is the executive director of the Muslim American Society of Minnesota. He reached out to the governor's office six weeks ago to make sure vaccines would be accessible to Muslims ahead of Ramadan. They have been very responsive. They have allocated 7,000 doses. And now we have 18 mosques. We have 18 vaccination clinics. And this particular mosque is going to have one on Monday. There are also three clinics Sunday, two in Minneapolis and one in Blaine, and others later in the week. It's really important uh, for our community members to, um, to be able to congregate and be around family members and other community members during that time. And we just felt that whatever we could do to try to get an event prior to Ramadan was important. And while there was hesitancy at first from some unsure about getting the vaccine, the more clinics have been offered, the faster they're filling up. Now the easiest thing you can do is just roll up your sleeve and, and get vaccinated, and that'll solve a lot of the issues that we've had. Now, the focus has been to get the J&J &J vaccine into arms at these clinics. That's because those just require one dose, and that's really important ahead of Ramadan, which is fast approaching on Tuesday. However, Muslim leaders say they are encouraging the community to really get whatever vaccine that they can, because at this point, really having that herd immunity is the most important part. Karen, back to you. All right, Sarah, thank you.